Nice to see the wet weather, though. Mm -hmm up in flames because many of us have been impacted by fire at some point in our lives. If you haven't, though, you've surely seen it here on the news. Well, the now's Russell Haythorn takes us inside a burning home so that the next generation of firefighters and crime scene detectives are prepared. It's fine. This may be a drill, but for these students, you go up first. it offers real life training <laughs> when you guys it up down and slide up. in professions that can be dangerous, even deadly. Today, it's a mock arson fire. I've never seen fire quite that big. These Warren Tech firefighting and fire science students practice putting out the flames. No, we're really going to just kind of bounce it off the top of the ceiling. Everything in the room was cooking. Everything was engulfed in flames. So that forensics and criminal justice students can try to solve the crime. We're looking for any signs of arson, so chemicals, matches. We used uh, thermite, and then we also used a little bit of accelerant. There's certain burn patterns to let us know how fires are created or where it comes from. An end-of-the-year practical demonstration. It was definitely cool to get in there and feel like how hot it is up higher and how you got to stay low. This is awesome, yeah. Best class I've ever taken. Industry experience, I get real world experience. Real world experience inspiring a brave new generation. Uh, I want to be a firefighter paramedic. In Lakewood, Russell Haythorn for the now Denver.